In this lecture, we will be looking at the anthropological approach to studying religion. What is anthropology? Anthropology is the study of humanity. Anthropologists study human societies as integrated wholes, an approach that is termed holism. This approach is seen in the broad scope of anthropology, which is often div divided into fields of physical anthropology, archaeology, linguistic anthropology, and cultural anthropology. The holistic approach requires that societies be studied over long periods of time, during which the investigator lives within the community and participates in the lives of the people under study. A technique known as participant observation. The final product is an ethnography, a descriptive study of a human society. An outside observer of a community usually imposes his or her system of analysis on the group under study, edict perspective. It is natural to use one's own system as a basis for interpreting and judging other societies, a tendency called ethnocentrism. Many anthropologists attempt to see the world through the eyes of people being studied, emic perspective and describe and understand people's customs and ideas, but do not judge them, an approach called cultural relativism. The goal is to study what people believe, not whether or not what they believe is true. A central concept in anthropology is culture. Culture includes all aspects of human experiences that are passed down from generation to generation. Culture gives meaning to reality. We live in a real, physical world, but our minds interpret this world through our cultural lens. Religion is a difficult concept to define cross-culturally. However, we can list some approaches to a definition. An analytic definition focuses on the way in which religion manifests itself or is expressed in a culture. A functional definition is concerned with the role that religion plays in a society. An essentialist definition looks at what the essential nature of religion is and emphasizes the fact that religion is the domain of the extraordinary, a system of beliefs and behaviors that deals with the relationship between human and the sacred supernatural. The textbook defines religion as a set of cultural beliefs and practices that usually include some or all of a basic set of characteristics. A belief in anthropomorphic supernatural beings. A focus on the sacred supernatural. The presence of supernatural power that is found in supernatural beings, as well as physical beings and objects the performance of ritual activities that involve the manipulation of sacred objects to communicate with supernatural beings and or to influence or control events, and an articulation of a worldview and moral code. Religion also provides for the certainty and maintenance of social bonds and mechanisms and social control within a community and provides explanation for the unknown and a sense of control for the individual. There have been many theoretical approaches to the study of religion. The evolutionary approach, developed in the late 1800s, focused on the question of when and how religions began and how they evolved from the simple to the complex. This evolution was seen as a natural consequence of human nature, and the religions of primitive peoples were remnants of an earlier, simpler evolutionary stage. Early religions included animism, a belief in spirits and ghosts, and antiomism, 
the belief in a generalized supernatural force. The Marxist approach is based on the writings of Karl Marx, who saw religion as being a construction of those in power, designed to divert people's attention from the miseries of their lives. This misery was seen as being the result of exploitation of the masses by those in power under the capitalistic system. He saw religion both as a means of compensation and as a way of getting people to go along with a capitalistic culture that was not in their best interests. The functional approach asks the question, what does religion do? For example, Melanowski concluded that magic functions to provide control and certainty in an otherwise uncertain situation. The interpretive approach is associated with Clifford Kurtz, who believed that the task of anthropologists was to make sense of cultural systems by studying meaning. He described religion as a cluster of symbols that provides a charter for a culture's ideas, values, and ways of life. The psychosocial approach is concerned with the relationship between culture and personality and the connection between the society and the individual. What we perceive and think of as our reality is actually a creation of our brain. Information entering the brain through the sense organs are organized and interpreted by the brain into a reality. The brain is also capable of creating realities that are indistinguishable from the reality that lies outside the body. Various religious experiences may be realities that are created by the brain. All religious systems appear to contain concepts of supernatural anthropomorphic causal agents. One explanation for this is the concept of theory of mind, the idea that people know or think they know what is going on in other people's mind. The human brain extends this into the mind of other living and non-living entities. Many ideas have been proposed to explain the evolution of religion. Some have suggested that religion arose to fulfill social needs, imposing order and stability on society. Some have focused on the human awareness of death. Others see religions as a byproduct of how the human brain works. Thus we feel that we occupy our bodies, not that we are our bodies, and that we infer purpose, goals, intention, and design where there is none attributing human characteristics to a range of inanimate objects.